welcome to another episode of The Journey. So far today we have Hayden Coonan in to share his experience in the songwriting networking collaboration events as part of the Mega Love Universe. Thank you for being here, Hayden. Thank you, Brett. All right. So, Hayden, tell me what frustrations and challenges you were facing before you discovered the programs. I was writing a lot, but not really landing. So I'd, I'd write songs and people would enjoy them, but... That was pretty much the extent of it at open mics and things like that. I hadn't got up to recording anything or written anything that I felt was recordable. But I think just also like I knew there was a lot of gaps in my experience, for just you know, just from relating to other musicians. And I've kind of gone, I don't know if I like I've. I don't know the answer to that question, how to get gigs, you know, how to pursue that sort of angle as well. A lot of the gigs that I'd had had more or less kind of fallen in my lap, but the idea of chasing them was was a bit different. So, and then obviously getting it up that I could at least be making a reasonable income from music one way or another. So. Yeah, right. Thank you. And so what was it like trying to figure all that out on your own? Well, if I didn't have the answers already, I certainly wasn't going to find them myself. Um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> I found it a bit interesting on a local level that there was sort of a lot of people who probably knew, did know the answers, but were keeping the cards close to their chest. And I was kind of like, that's not who I am or how I operate. I'm all very much about, you know, how do we work together to make an outcome for everybody, a positive outcome for everybody. And yeah, and I think that's definitely something I found working within the, the songwriting group and the music lessons and things like that. And I love the, the group nature, the collaborative nature of everything there. Yeah, that's awesome. That's cool. And so what, what was different or what changed and to add into the collaboration side of thing? What changed after starting to be part of the programs? Collaboration, especially, I was still able to write lyrics, but I was getting sort of instant feedback which was great i think when you get sort of instant feedback as part of the process you were able to fashion things a lot better to start with but also you know many hands make light work <laughs> you know the more input you have on that like i think you you, you find ways to express what you're trying to express better mm -hmm. um in my case more succinctly because i have a pen chant for writing long lines that can be a bit clunky so being able to fine tune that process in a live environment has been fantastic for me yeah awesome we've definitely seen you grow as part of the journey and really start to question is this the most important thing so take us to a moment where you start to realize that being part of the group and the sessions are actually really starting to solve that challenge of not really knowing what to do oh, we'd write the songs in the collaboration sessions and i'd play them at an open mic night and people would respond really well to them mm -hmm. and i've kind of gone they're probably responding better to this material than necessarily anything that I was writing myself cool. you know and I know as I said I think we've sort of said that this is only part way through the journey as well too but I think there's some some big opportunities coming up where I'll be able to take stuff that even if it is stuff that I've written myself we've been able to spend that time in music lessons and in group sessions just really fine-tuning it and the, so the songs will land better I'll have the confidence to record them for starters and I'm slowly slowly working my way through that as well too and I think that being challenged in that area and going you know like I literally have all the equipment I just need to get in and do it you know the support from yourself and the support from you know other participants of the program you know hey cool that was cool let's work on this aspect you know i'm not quite sure you've got the beat down pat there let's try and re-record that and go yep yeah, okay cool i've got this adding things like harmonica to songs and mm. that which for me was like it's been really cool because you know sort of i, I wanted to step into like branch into that aspect multi-instrumentalism when you're playing live mm. and i've been able to play songs that i've written with a harmonica as well with a yeah, harmonica cool. song and knowing that you've got a well-constructed product that you can put out there and say, this is who I am, this is my sound. Yeah, people aren't complaining too much, which is always good. <laughs> <laughs> I've had really good feedback, like even when I've gone to events yep. and said, oh, like I really like X line of a song or like I like the way you put that. For me as a muso from like listening, I've listened to some other people's music and I've gone to them and said, hey, I really liked this line. They've, they've been really like grateful for it. Being on the other side of that was was really cool too that's cool so what's life like now that you've got a bit more confidence with your songwriting you're getting this feedback from other musicians that you value their opinions as well how do you feel now that that's starting to happen for you really good i, I know at one stage i had very much considered would i keep playing live would i keep writing you know this way i did it or was it um, i was getting opportunities to provide sound services and sound engineering and sound tech and was like well that well was that going to be my contribution to the music industry rather than anything I generated myself. And there've been opportunities to get out and play 
lately where again i've been playing my original music and it's been well received and they've gone no actually i still have a place in the music industry as an artist rather than mm-hmm. just a support person yeah and and generate and i'm building the confidence to know that that's that's a possibility something in one of your early spills something like zero 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 two percent of people make it in the industry yeah it can be a bit disheartening when you sort of feel like you're putting your heart and soul into something and getting nowhere well you know i'm <laughs> Yeah. I'm not about to be, you know, Justin Bieber or Ed Sheeran or anything like that. And I'm okay because that's not necessarily my place. But I've still got something to offer in an industry that is very hard to get into. 100%. Just got to keep chipping away. Nice work. Mm. Thank you for sharing. And so what are you most excited about for yourself personally and, and being part of the programs for the future? One, I know from the from the songwriting group, like the idea of working on music that he's going to end up on Spotify, that he's going to have a wider audience. Mm. Um, than just necessarily something that gets played live. I will say, I think, like, I'm I'm not even biased because it's not even my track, but the one that we've chosen out of this past sort of five weeks, I think it's the ripper track. Like, I I think I said in the discussion afterwards that I could very happily see myself cruising down the road with it cranked out the stereo, which is always the test of, you know, is, is a track what you want it to be? Yeah. So for me, you know, hopefully... That'll be one of my tracks one day, for starters. Mm. Whether it happens within the group or outside the group, I've got a couple of performances coming up where there are likely to be more original music than covers, which is really cool. Trying to write more positive, uplifting music, which is always fun and always a challenge. Music has this power to lift people up, and I think if at any point mine encourages somebody to feel a little bit happier and a little bit better about themselves, well, then that's making it for me. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Do you have anything else to add about your experience so far? Just say yes. I think, um, you know, there's many re- that you, you, your brain will give you a thousand reasons why not to work with someone like yourself or think you're worthy of putting yourself out there in that space. But if you learn to say yes and just have a go, the opportunities open up. You're never too old, pushing 40. <laughs> um, <laughs> if I can take this opportunity and run with it, then anybody can. And I really encourage anybody to do that. Cool. Thanks, Aiden. Um, and that's kind of answered my next question, which is what advice would you give to somebody else? seeking a mentor or a coach yeah. songwriting network and collaboration events or some music lessons anything yeah. else to add to those people I'm a little, i will say i'm a little bit biased because i come from a coaching background myself and i am trained in that area there's a reason that the successful people succeed and it's because they have somebody in their corner going like here's the play have you thought about this have you thought about that no one succeeds in a vacuum i think that you know they have the mentor the coach and somebody to follow somebody to look up to Mm -hmm. somebody who's been there before and carved away you know it makes it a lot easier when they're able to say hey this is the mistakes that i've made don't make them (laughs) um 100 percent definitely recommend engaging somebody who can take a look at everything and kind of go hey in my experience this works in that situation or that might not work in that situation really equips you for what whatever journey you're going on or whatever that looks like for you awesome thank you so much hayden i really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to share with people who might be watching this who might be curious about getting some support so thank you so much once again and we look forward to hanging out making music having some fun growing as people in 2023 and beyond. Yeah, yeah, it's looking forward to it.